everyone, it's Epic Underworlds. In today's video, I'm going to be giving up a little update on what I've been working on. So, I've mainly been focusing on PCGs, and uh, I am working on a few other projects, but I'm mainly just going to be talking about a small little update in this video. So, um, I recently just added a bunch of new PCGs to the shop. These are extremely easy to follow games. We even have a few new add-ons like the purple box add-on, which is kind of like the old item box in PCGs, except it's a little different. Um, then we got the save game add-on if you guys want to add some more complexity to your games. And then the in interesting inventory screens, which you can add some fun to your inventory screens. Then as far as games, we got the amazing alphabetical adventure now on the shop created by me and Salmon the Fish. We got Demo Game, Danny's Quest. This was a game I made for my cousin, but it can be played by anyone. It's super fun. Then we got another demo game. Um, demo games are basically just introductory PCGs. So if any of you are watching this and you want to play, um, you can go head over to the Paper Peter Games shop and join the Discord link in the description, uh, the PCG Discord right here, where you can hop into game rooms and play with people. Um, very fun. So we got those demo games and we also have a Counter-Strike paper computer game I made. This one doesn't have the best art, but it's actually rather fun. And then we got Tanker Toys, which is a remaster. My friend made this game and I remastered it, so um, it, it like looked more professional. So it's technically still his game, so um, credits to him on that. We got Pumpkin Bill Crisis, which is a one-page PCG. Then we got Wolf's Game Fallout PCG, which um, I just gave a script for, and I credited him right here. So if you want to play Wolf's new Fallout game, you can try that. We also have a Zelda-inspired game I made, um, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, A Fresh New World. And we also have the Sewers remake. So those are all the new things on the PCG shop. I'm really excited to see people starting to play them. But one of the, my biggest, or one of the biggest complaints I heard about PCGs recently was how there's not enough games on the shop. So I kind of went into a grind mode and got as many as I could up on the shop. And I'll try to get a few more, but uh, for now, this is quite a good selection if you guys are looking into playing some PCGs. As far as what else has been happening for Solo Saga's RPG, I have not been working too much on it, I'm going to be honest. Um, I've just been really focused on PCGs, so don't expect any Solo Saga's or Epic Underworld's TCG content for a while, because I'm really focusing on getting PCGs off the ground. I think they have a lot of potential, so I'm really going to focus on that. I've been working on a PCG book, as I've stated before, but that one won't come out for quite some time. And then... Uh, future videos will probably include some PCG playthroughs, maybe some PCG showcases, and some PCG update videos, like I've said before. Um, haven't uploaded in two weeks, but my uh, newest videos um, have been getting quite a few views. And my old channel, Epic Worlds PCG, where I did all my PCG content, all that content will pretty much be moved here for like in the future. So if I make a PCG video like this, it'll go on this. And also, I just want to thank you guys so much for 1K subscribers. That is a huge milestone for me, and uh, I really appreciate for all of you guys that have subscribed. So, um, yeah, that's just a little update I wanted to give. If you guys are curious about how to play a PCG or what are paper computer games, I'll leave a link in the description to a very helpful video that will try to explain it to you. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.